Hi, I'm Steve Wallace from Cheshire Timber Construction. Today I'm going to show you how to transform this conservatory, which is freezing cold in the winter and absolutely scorching in the summer, into a room that you can use all year round. Cheap to heat, cool in the summer, and an absolute pleasure. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the existing conservatory roof. We're going to carefully take off the aluminium sections, then we're going to manufacture on site and fit a new timber roof construction. And the reason we use timber in the roof is because all house roofs and all houses in this country are made of timber and there is a reason for that. We don't use aluminium or metal in a, in a house roof because of the problems with condensation. And the easiest simplest way to explain that to you is if you take a small piece of wood like this, go into your bathroom, place it next to the tap, run a very hot bath and then look at the piece of the wood and look at the tap you'll find the tap has condensation running down the side of it but the piece of wood does not and what that same thing will happen with your conservatory roof the condensation can run down the aluminium sections because of the temperature difference between the inside of the room and the outside and form puddles of water at the bottom of the aluminium sections which is why we don't use aluminium in a house roof so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to carefully uh, cover the floor and the sills with plasterboards so that if we drop anything whilst we're doing the roof construction it won't damage the floor. So as you can see the floor is now completely covered with plasterboard so any sills or anything that's dropped is not going to damage your nice wooden floor. Here we are in Bram Hall near Stockport, Cheshire. Today we're going to completely remove this conservatory roof. We're going to build a new conservatory timber frame and we're going to cover it in plywood and roofing felt all in one day, all in the first day. So by this evening the, the conservatory will be secure and watertight. So first of all we're going to remove the existing glass and aluminium sections. Okay, so now we've removed all of the glass on the conservatory, we're going to carefully take off all of the aluminium sections. Cheshire Timber Construction again. So once we've got the existing conservatory aluminium roof off, the first thing we do is fix a new wall plate around the perimeter of the um, aluminium section and we do that using half lap joints as you can see here so we get full strength. Hi, Steve Wallace, Cheshire Timber Construction. Okay, once we've got the ridge beam completely fixed, the next thing we do is we put the common rafters in and fix any that need that we can. And we also put the ridge in, making sure it's perfectly level. Okay, so once we've got all the common rafters in, and don't forget, if you're having the looks windows, you need to double them up around the windows. So once all those are in, we, next we put the hips in. We screw everything with five inch screws. These screws, heavy duty, so that there's no chance of anything moving once we've finished. Nothing's nailed, it's all screwed. And once we've done the, the hips, so we then put the common rafters in. Steve Wallace, Cheshire Timber Construction. 
as you can see now we've fitted all the jack rafters and all the rafters we're just doing the last bit of framing around the Lux windows Now we're ready for plywood. Okay, so the whole roof now is covered in three quarters of plywood. It's nailed on every sheet um, and the, the joints are all cut nice and close together so there's no gap. Okay, so now we've completely felted the roof and uh, it's completely waterproof and secure and that is the end of the first day. Hi, Steve Wallace again, Cheshire Timber Construction. This is day two of this conservatory roof build. So now we've finished the, the timber construction, we are now going to fit all the insulation. The insulation is carefully cut, as you can see, and it fits tightly between each of the timber members. Okay, so once we've fitted the three inch insulation in between all of the rafters, we then cover the whole inside of the conservatory with a two inch insulation. So now we've covered the whole inside of the conservatory with the two inch insulation, the next thing we do is fit battens um, on all of the rafters and the hips. Okay, so now we've fully battened the ceiling, it's ready for plasterboarding.
so next we fix the plasterboard to the battens. Hi, Steve Wise here again, Chesherton Construction. Okay, so now we've tiled the whole roof um, and we've done the hips and the uh, ridge. We're just finishing the ridge off now. And um, we've put the flashing down the blocks windows and the roof, so the top of the roof is complete. Okay, so now we've finished uh, doing all the lead work, we then seal it with lead seal, put the walls to make sure it's water tight. Nice Cheshire timber construction. So as you can see, once um, the inside is finished, it's all plastered to a very high standard by our expert plasterers. Okay, so now you can see the complete and finished conservatory room. As you can see, the inside is plastered and finished.